So let's continue with the next one. And that's going to be... Uh, I'm not really remembering right now. Uh, Druid. Druid, Druid, Druid. Alright. So there are some extra specials here, if I remember correctly. In... Power of the Wild could be useful here in actually the token Druid, yeah, right? Uh, Savage Roar, of course. Destroy all minions and replace them with two Treants. Just in. But, this is all the forest is pretty powerful here. Keep of the Grove for Nourish. Or extra guard draw. Starfall is going to pull. Useful, I think, as well, and Druid of the Core, most definitely. Force of Nature is always nice, Dark Whispers sometimes. And possibly Volcanic Lumber. Could be decent. Could be decent. Probably just fill in some of the fillers as well. Again, Lepernom, it's kind of the staple real, real here, really. Together, of course, with Haunted Reaper, Knife Juggler, and what else? Iron Beak, Owl Arms, too, possibly here. Loot Hoarder. So it's going to be just one Iron Beak Owl, I think, because we want double Loot Hoarders. I'm kind of thinking that might be it. And Harvest Golem, yeah, that's also a good one. So I'd like to include him. It's going to be instead of... Wow, what Starfall number one? Possibly Dark Whispers. Not really, because that's Dark Whispers could be good with Soul of the Forest. And that's the mana combo, so it could work. Same with Force of Nature, so that's going to be one volcanic lumberer gone. And let's try this kind of deck. Again, playing against Shaman. <laughs> it seems like people really prefer playing him, uh, but this is actually pretty great start in hand. A lot of options here actually to react to what, to what my opponents plays, and solo the forest together with Haunted Creeper. It's absolutely great. It's going to be a super strong combo. My greetings. And nothing from him. Alright, I think I'm going to make use of it. But we're actually putting up a haunted paper. And possibly next turn I can have some options with Knife Juggler. If he plays something like Leper now. So let's see what it is from him. Hmm. And it's an owl. It's an owl and it's a good one. God damn it, that... It's unfortunate, to say the least. <laughs> well, though, I'm just going to keep him because he still could be a decent body for the soul of the forest there. I'm going to keep it up.
Well, this should uh, result in me landing pretty, pretty much the same thing. Let's see about that. Mind if I roll need? Well, he didn't. Alright, so we have double soul of the forest here. That's very curious right now for me. Okay. What to do? To do, what to do, yes, what to do. And right now a bit looking at what? Now I will sacrifice you. Time waits for no one. I will play loot harder together with. Mind if I roll me? Together with power of the wild? No. For the wild. I'll just leave it like this. I think this will be slightly better. I'm not exactly sure. It's going to be the best of best course of action. It will highly depend on actually what my opponent plays. Alright, so this smells like a lightning storm. Yep. Yep, it is lightning storm. So that went well for him and that yeah, yeah outplayed me slightly. Wasn't really counting on that, which means Oh, hello! It's not a bad one, although I first want to silence you. Because you are most definitely tricky. I don't want you anywhere near here. Oh no, don't do that, that's a mistake. You should wait for it. You should wait for it. Right now he's in a risk of actually me drawing into something like a Swipe or some such and that would be pretty very bad for him. Well, I did not though. Which means that I will be playing what? Uh, probably Druid of the Claw. Where shall I Try to stop him here. Let's see if I'm lucky and he, and he doesn't have something like Hex. And he did, he did have Crackle <laughs> at exactly the right damage, so <laughs> that sucks big time and I think that spells pretty much the end of my game. Yeah, I can see that I'm right now just in health and I don't really see any way out of this right now. So that's that. That's one lucky bounce. Yeah, another one. <laughs> it's still quite a lot of there. Uh, he has 8, 10, 11. So yeah, I'm basically toast. Can't really get out of this life. Even though everything went great, he has just enough to lethal. Plus, yes, that blood last. <laughs> so yeah, that's that.
but the deck didn't really seem all that bad, so I'm just going to stick with it and hope it goes slightly better here. Against the Wheat of the Glove, well, not really, Power of the Wild though, yes, and Ludhodra as well. And hopefully if he, get, he can get through into the Haunted Creeper combo with Power of the Wild or anything like Soul of the Forest or some such, it can be really powerful, but yeah, we need to draw into it first. My It's just a standard start from the Lepernomi. <laughs> That's an early one. Innervate and it what? Breath. Ah. Oh. Come on, such a... that's not really a high level play. That's <laughs> actually a pretty, very bad one. <laughs> ah, well, anyway. Anyway, let's see how this plays out. This will give me some pretty strong power over the wild, it seems. Right now, if I were him, I would use the owl in through 1 2. Then, with my face, I would kill one of them, and with the 2 1, I would go into face, which would result in three spectral spiders which will be power of the wild quite strong and together with it i will be having red or anything like that so he goes off face which yeah not really the cleverest idea if i to be power to be completely honest right now i'm going to wrath one of you, so it's going to be, for example, this skull, this owl, and I'm going to supply an unwanted thing because I want slightly better card draw into swipe or some such. So let's just do this and maybe force him into going into the other one. It will cost me one of those one ones, but still, if they survive, that could be a decent trade. And if they don't, as to use something like swipe, it still will be empty table. Yeah, so that's swipe. Yeah, that's swipe, and that's a stop on his tempo, which is basically what I needed. Because I was getting behind. So let's see if you can actually turn this around right now. We have quite enough damage. We have five. We have potentially savage roar. We have wrath. That's like one or three damage. That's not really bad at all. Mind if I roll me? Oh, all right, that's fine. Dark whispers. Do we risk this? Ah, uh, yes, we do. We do risk this. Let's do this and let's see if it works out. Do you have another swipe or starfall? If you don't, that's going to be pretty brutal savage roar. So, is it going to be disappointment or not? Haunted creeper and... And... Doesn't it seem like another... Doesn't seem like another one. God damn it! God damn it! Stupid hearts though. 
Stupid Hearthstone, really? Really? Seriously? What the hell? Why I don't get such luck with the Savage Rock? God damn it. Ah, uh, that's so disappointing when this happens. Hey! But anyway, let's try to do something else here then. That's one in three, and it went the wrong way. So let's just draw a card there. Force of Nature. Alright, well that's not bad. Uh, there's a combo, so we draw in Force of Nature, but it's turn off. I'll be at 8 mana just, and I need the 9. And he gets 2 of those, right. It's gonna be well, the 2 1 should be going into the 3 2, of course. It's quite obvious in there. Yep. And he has quite a decent play right now, if it wasn't for Force of Nature. But still, he should be really winning this game. I don't really see a way for me to come back. As I don't really have any cards, and he does. Right now I'll be getting some extras, but it really shouldn't be enough. Yeah, another Savage Rod, that's useless absolutely right now. Especially when he puts this down the port. And finally something useful here. Uh, so that's a swipe. And that's going to be going where? To you. Who dares to fight? Really, scenarios. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Nourish, nourish. Well played. Ah, another nourish, that's not useful. Starfall though. Oh well. It's not going to be enough here. So let's just play for the fun here then. Yeah, I'm just going to include some of those sludge belchers in there. They're going to be quite nice indeed. Welcome to Wild, of course. Let's finish your turn, and it's going to be it. And as I said, uh, we need to include Sludge Belchers, so that's going to be Sludge, and it's coming in instead of Dark Whispers. Yeah. Yeah, guys, got a decent deck, part of the wild. There is a strong synergy with the Haunted Creeper there. Keep that. And remove, for example, I don't know, probably the Force of Nature? Oh, well, can I go on better? Like, the Double Slash Belcher is slightly better than that. Starfall, yes, because it's 2 damage and we are playing against Shaman, so it could be nice. Bit of the call, no, Lepnome, yes, Bower of the Wild. Oh, much rather have the actual Haunted Keeper in my hand than that. That's the most crucial part of the combo, and I have some other options actually to make use of the extra guys. Yes, no, 
course. My greetings. Hello, hello, hello. It's just an oil drone. Oh well, doesn't really matter all that much. Well, that's unfortunate for you. To say the least. <laughs> so, this is kind of some uh, very heavily aggro deck from uh, the Shaman, but it's not really working out for, so far for him. He seems to be badly composed as he's right now running out of steam. On 4 mana, he doesn't have anything to play, really. That's... yeah. Let's say unfortunate. And well, that was the first... <laughs> Actually, quick into the design. I'm not really thinking that this deck was all that great, so I think I'm going to replay because it was kind of disappointing and not all that great. So, yeah, let's hope for something better. Malfurion versus Gul'dan! Your soul shall be mine! I must protect the wild. Savage Roar times two. Mm, wrath? No. Savage Roar can come in later. Basically, really, just as I said last game, I want the Haunted Creeper and then some kind of combo can come along. My greeting. I greet you. Hello, hello. Uh, yeah. much to think about here. Uh, do I actually get the extra damage? Yeah, I do. I will nick you off. Prepare you for the death there. Much else to place here, but since I don't have uh, an extra oh, good combo against that, I'm just going to go face right now. Not really interested in popping the cherry soon that I need. <laughs> and the right now, Keeper of the Gulf. Ah, it's not half bad. I must safeguard the Do we silence actually right now? Probably you. Yeah, those four guys are slightly more annoying than the two ones. So let's do it this way. Ah oh well, but it still does. <laughs> I get the annoyment out on me. But I have Starfall, so I'm just going to pull it in.
And well, 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 well. Right now, I think it's a pretty good spot for our commander here. So let's see if he survives. Hopefully, he does, but he's at six mana, so it could be siphoned soul very easily. Could be not great. It can also be Black Knight, possibly, but he's not played all that, played. He's not played all that much lately. Ah, here's an Iron Peak Owl. That's actually not that bad because he wasted it right now. And we will have a play with him. Let's see what we do. A harvest Golem and well... I have to be careful here right now. So I think I need to activate you. Four and two two, that's not bad. I can deal with that kind of occasionally. I'm going to keep you there. You could prove pretty useful to me. champion ay 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 that's not good that's not good even though with power of the wild and the wrath we have a way of chili killing him but we are right now at pretty low health loss of nature all right that could solve a lot of things the combo with all the forest that's a shame you play force of nature power of the wild what I like this idea. That's that dealt with, and what next? What a, a next. I really like you to keep here. Yeah, face. Let's go face and let's see if you can finish this up. It's a very close indeed. He doesn't have any strong minions, but he can still have something strong here. Yeah. Right now he does, so that's something a battle cry coming in. Or is it just some extra 4 damage? I wonder. <laughs> Dr. Boom! Ha ha ha! Alright. So right now we will be forced to actually win this game pretty soon. Which is not going to be that easy. Right now, what? The video. So, all of the forest, it's going to be one. It's going to be one of them. We are going. I guess into you. So you are dead. You are dead. This and I will try to actually go fire from you. Yes. That's reasonably okay. Oh wow, yeah. Unfortunately he has this guy. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Alright, alright, so the damage has been dealt in the beginning that we couldn't actually um, overcome. So let's see if we can actually in another iteration of this Tavern Brawl with Druid deck. Now 
Malfurion versus Anduin. The light shall bring victory. I must protect the wild. And all right, Hunt Creeper, Savage Raw, so the forest, this seems like a dream start, so let's start with this. Pretty decent, <laughs> so let's see if it works out. as soon as possible that we have this on the board and we can potentially make use of it on some like turn 3 and potentially even 4. Next turn I hope actually to use either shapeshift or the loot holder so let's see what the opponent pulls up. Ah the same as us. The same as us which means that I will just go face I will just go face and well do the holder then for an extra card roll. For this, which means uh, that we'll be having on turn three something like yeah, you will keep you. That's kind of for sure. And then it's okay. How let's go on. So slightly better. This, which is a uh, good choice, I think, and considering all the circumstances. Ah, yay! It's gonna happen he wouldn't do that. Keeper, right? But still, it's all the forest for me. So unless you have mass dispel, this is going to be a pretty nasty combo for you to deal with. So let's see how well you deal played. with it. My thanks to you. The damned stand ready. And he apparently doesn't. So yeah, that's going to be a pretty nasty combo for him, especially if he is alive, it's going to be Savage Roar. So I will be able to clean his table pretty much to the fullest. As much as I can. So yeah, he begins. So, so it begins. So it begins. Which means we are having actually 5 times 2. That's 10, 13, 17 damage. And with double savage roll there. Well, I think I'm actually going face. I'm actually going face here. Quite decidedly. Well played. For the wild. So job done. Yeah, and this should be reasonably GG because we have Druid of the, of the Claw. We have another Savage Roar and even if he wants to kill all of those. We will just stop his turn and I will get extra 2-2s two there. So yeah, finally the combo clicked in and 
the damn nasty one. <laughs> Let me change your mind. So he still is at least one. That's uh, not going to be enough at all. Yeah, another Savage Roar means uh, 6, 7, 8. Well played. Well played. Nice, nice, nice! Finally! <laughs> and against a priest, that priest was one of the most difficult ones that I have faced so far, so I'm kinda glad that it worked against him. But that was Druid, and we are entering the last row of the heroes. First will be Warlock. And does Warlock have some interesting death rattle? The power overwhelming is going to be cool. With Walker, uh, we'll have to see, I guess. Kinda of weird, I'm not exactly sure what I want to do here. The Shadow Flame is always a pretty great card in basically everything. And Void Color, ah, yeah, that's what you're going to play. A lot of demons, that's what we are going to play. All a lot of demons. So that's this into the void color, and then we have to do what? Uh, they are all pretty useful. Which means. Curse of Pain. Ah oh yeah, I really need to be having a quite a lot of minions in my deck. That's that, and I'm going to put some staples here. I don't have no let them know for the extra damage, so let's see if this kind of deck will work. Not all that positive, but it might. And we have power overwhelming MP Pitlord. Yeah, it's gonna keep the MP for the tournament play. Gang boss, Dread Infernal. Well, Gang boss is gonna be playable there. Start, not anything to be worried about. I'll just deal the damage, the same as me, and he will just kill it through the loot hoarder. It's kind of obvious what's going to happen here. Right now, I would be very glad if I actually got the, uh, the Void Caller. It'd be pretty, pretty awesome because I have very good demons in my hand. I could actually process him, that would be very nice. Eh, it's kinda annoying. It's just Slap Gnome then. Yeah, he was hoping that he would hit my face, but yeah, guess it did not happen. <laughs> so that's that. And do I play the flaming right now? 
could be just killed uh, extra three damage. Ah, uh, oh yeah, that range. So how's it looking? How's it looking for you, my opponent, Argo? Yeah, yeah. that's so the standard and expected play. Brings me to more or less half health. Put this apple on your head. Another knife juggler and totem. Oh, no, another leopard. No. All right. All right, E, and it's a fell guard. All right. Uh, I think I'm going to play that. Not bad. I will enjoy is some kind of defense. Some and I'm getting very, very low on health. <laughs> very, very, very low on health. <laughs> it's not good news at all. I'm not really seeing a way out of this right now. It will be very lucky to get out and I'm not really seeing any possible way. <laughs> Why didn't he play it earlier? God damn it. Yep, that's it. Uh, that's it. That's it, that's it, and we have to replay. That was a pretty decent deck of my opponents, so it worked uh, like a child for him. Walker, void color, finally. Lepno, yeah, that's a pretty good start. Finally, we have the void color. So, yeah, that was a mistake in my previous game where I didn't actually mulligan for him, which I should have done most definitely. I greet you. Greetings, traveler. Nice. <laughs> so that might spiral out of control for him pretty soon. <laughs> so next turn I think I'm going to go in and into the void caller.
And right now we are just praying that he doesn't have the owl. Please, please, please don't have it. Please, please, pretty please. That's that, and we obviously uh, actually to get up. Because if this would be a crazy trap, it would be pretty bad. Oh, so, right now I'm just going to play another Void Caller, and at the same time, kill you. There's this, and I'm just going to kill you. Let's just control what we have on the table. And we have another two demons, so even if he decides to go for it and kill the 3 4, that's going to be pretty nasty indeed. Alright, so he has two skill command, which is just a spell. And pretty important because that's a spell that usually kills you. So, what's it gonna be now? <laughs> I'm gonna hope in right now it's going to be freezing trap, yep. And I will drop this too. That's going to be double floating watcher. If he doesn't silence this guy or puts anything up there that I can actually kill it off against. And I can. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. This is going to be something. So let's reduce our numbers here, just slightly. Now let's see if we can figure it out somehow. Engaging TC-130, mental death <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, well, I hate when this happens. Finally, some good luck for me. Well, it seems like a lot of thinking going on for my opponent. He's right now not sure if he should go all face or actually try to control. And he does nothing then. Well, that really helps me right now because there's going to be what? 8, 16, 18 damage. So that's well played. Well played. And I can actually buff it up even more. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so that's a victory. That's a victory for Warlock. That was a pretty decent one, even though I didn't really like how he stopped playing there. So I might want to repeat this because. I'm kind of thinking he might have had some better play there. Good 
Gul'dan versus Thrall. For Doomhammer, your soul shall be mine. And we have Voidwalker, Bane of Doom, Mistress of Pain. Uh, Mistress of Pain is a good turn too. Uh, in Watcher. Oh. Well, I might want to remove him because I'd like actually to get the Void Core again, which I didn't. I didn't really want to I aggressively mulligan for it because the Void Walker and Mistress of Pain are actually two great starting cards. And here he is. Alright, so we are going to be fine. We are going to be just fine. <laughs> All we need to do right now is draw into some pretty decent demons. I can ease your pain. So yeah, so far this is pretty much a standard start. Anything and we have right now all of them. Oh, and we can actually kill you through Shadow Flames. So might be able to kill the table. Is it worth it? Right now, I don't think so. Play this. Extra card and it's a demon. Nice. Yes, that's going to be enough for this turn then. It's a flame tank totem. Alright, that's. Yeah. Not something I was looking forward to. Well, situation not to get in any nice here, any nice here here. So I just have to play the Void Caller right now, and I don't very much want to play the Flame in, in here. If he has Bloodlust, I'm screwed anyway, so it doesn't really matter at all. So unless he has Silencer, it's going to be pretty nicely. Uh, next turn, Mana Tide to them. What's it going to be? Alright, nothing else. Well, that's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet then. Uh huh. So, just like that, we have turned the tables on him. <laughs> Build his board all together and put on strong minions on my side. That's just, just a slight belcher and what's going to be next? That's going to be next. I think it is going to be this. Pain of Doom and... Ooh! <laughs> oh yeah, thank you very much. That's a good one. <laughs> yes, yes, Fearsome Doom Guard is pretty damn awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Dwayne of Doom. Thank you very much indeed. Well, this is still pretty much okay, so I'm just going to go card this because I need to get you stronger. Means you're going to. And, well, do we discard or not? No, we don't. Bring out your dead. 
And that's that, and can we actually make it any stronger? Of 8, 11, yeah, that's not enough, but we can easily kill you. That's one thing here going for us. That's that, and uh, the next is going to go. To fight your own battle. Yeah, and right now he can't use one of those unless he has some kind of silencer or whatever. Uh, he actually uses it on this. That's kind of funny choice, but might work out for him. Just <laughs> one. Right. Ah, he has rank in it. All right. So that's that's bad. Yeah, that's bad. That's bad. And he has another one. All right. So that's a GG then. Yep. So we had a perfect card draw again. So let's play again then. Void Caller, Red Infernal, ah yeah, this is okay start. We'll be ready for the Void Caller if need be. On turn 4 or 5, so that's going to be nice. Taker, so I'm just going to nick him. That he's actually ready to die. Yeah. Well, what's it going to be for you? Uh, he was probably thinking and he should. Yeah, right now he's healing up. Alright, so he's using up the coin on this. Which is pretty good for me, I would say. Right now I will just play him. A gang boss. Next time then Void Core, and we have a pretty good array of demons here to actually pull up if they don't get silenced. That is. <laughs> Go then, void core coming in or not? I might actually want to do the, this a bit differently through the power overwhelming in case he has silencers. I'm not really all that keen on him using those and stopping my great play, so I will take it a bit slowly. I'm just gonna be extra card and stress of pain. Yeah. That's not how bad. And I still need to get rid of the flaming because I would definitely hate to draw a flaming through the void card. It would be pretty very bad. <laughs> Put this apple on your head. Then, so you go for it like this. There's some extra power overwhelm in here. Alright, so I'm just going to go with the flame MP first. I don't really want to play this right. Extra card. Yes, power overwhelm in here too. <laughs> and 
next turn we can possibly have a pretty good play with the Void Collar and Power Overwhelming. So let's see how it will go. Is someone injured? Let's go with the void core from that. So let's see how you deal with this. <laughs> it's a bit of a problem, I would guess, for you. But still, we can get through it. Yeah. You can get through it, uh, and the sequence he played with seems like he doesn't have all Innova right now. So, do you have uh, what you need right now? It's kind of unfortunate right now that I don't have the elemental. Or uh, Inferno, because it would really clear his table right now. But yeah, that's that. And do we have the removal Shadow over Death or not? No, he doesn't. He doesn't have Shadow over Death. Alright. Ah, but we have Shadow Flame. Oh, wow. Let's get to be face. I've gone into there. So it's going to be 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10 damage. I wonder. And. Well. Hmm. Right now. I have to go that is risk here, so let's see if we can survive. Fortunately for me, he was able to silence it, and yeah. So, that sucked big time. Sucked big time, and well, right now I'm pretty much screwed. There's no reasonable way actually out of this right now. Yeah. I will enjoy watching you die. That's that, and you'll have to replay, unfortunately. So, yeah, yeah. So does it need to discard Shadow Flame? No, just a bit lord. Yep.
Dan versus Raw. For Doomhammer. And it's going to be Thrall again. That's really one popular guy in this tavern bro. And this is pretty decent start. One, two, three, yeah. That's very awesome. I'm just going to keep that. Even though I might be more interested in getting the Void Core, but I'm gonna help more Vincent Star there. And luck in the card draw. I have like 5 card draws to actually draw into him, plus potentially some life tap. Goes down to that. Why do you fall? I can ease So do I have an activator? I probably would guess so. Yeah, red cannot. Ha 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 ha. Yeah. That's a nasty one. That's a very, very nasty one indeed. What are we going to continue with? Gang boss then. <laughs> Gang boss, and it should result in him actually going with one through four, four into one one, and the other one, Nerubian, will go My into one four. Oh, and he doesn't even need to do that. Alright, so right now I might just as well call GG. <laughs> 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 I gotta say, this isn't going to get any better. Yeah, I'm pretty positive it isn't. And it's going to result into the 4, 2, and 2, 3. Oh well, he decides to go full face. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. That... That uh, might slightly help us, even though it's probably not going to solve anything big for us. Just going to wait here a bit. 11, 4, maybe. I don't know, Shadow Flame could potentially save us, but not really. No, <laughs> Doom Guard. Does that do anything for us? Wouldn't really say so. So that's a GG again. <laughs> that was a pretty fast one this time around. Permrest agent. <laughs> Right, so yes, you are going to remove this, and the last one will be with these guys interface. So he didn't kill me. Unfortunately, we don't have a way to kill him. So yeah, <laughs> it's not like that. That really matters. Unfortunately, but it was really at a <laughs> pretty bad time for him because I still could have done uh, something interesting. Uh, like, I don't know, in the, some combination with the Shadow Flame, literally.
Uldan versus Uther. And we have Uther right now, so that that's a hero we had the most uh, troubles with to actually win. So that bodes well for us. So I'm just going to remove some of these guys, flame him for the early start. And void walk, void color is kind of busy here. Ah, uh, that's a pretty good one. Not bad at all. We could potentially work with this, and it's not like there's some huge risk of no silences or any minor. Ordinate number of them. I greet you. I'm uh, kind of opting for uh, playing Lepernon first as I'm expecting something like kind that from him as well. And playing Flaming would be just wasting everything. Yeah, that's not ideal. Ah, hello. That's a really nice one. Uh, this is turning into some pretty nice, nice aggro start. Together with Mistress of Pain there. It's going to be a, a bit of healing. And then Void Color will gonna need to dial some decent demons here the next turns. Here's an Iron Beak Owl. Alright, so that's one wasted, which is absolutely awesome. I'm just not really thinking about the Void Color option here. It's just as well sweet. Thank you for that. We have any shenanigans with potential youthful brewmasters, so I'm just going to get rid of it. I can ease your pain. We have one demon already for our Void Color. reasonably well and that would be kind of shame so I'm just going into something nice here Shadow flame and yes that's going to be another void walker <laughs> fall, I want some extra strong demon that has some downside like pit lord with the minus five health is pretty brutal so I would like that for the void color first now that we have Shadow Flame, we can actually activate Void Color very nicely on our own and help us in the fight. We oh, want Hammer. Reverse and switch, reverse and switch here. And you are just going to kill everything. Alright. So thank you for the 3 point healing. That was kinda nice from you. And all of you. Mistress of Pain and another one. Oh, uh, that's not good enough, really. Oh god, though. That's going to be nice enough. I can ease your pain. And then, that's going to be decent. Yeah, I don't really want to use the extra mana crystal. I can make use of the Void Core, that's going to be pretty sweet indeed. Another mad scientist, alright. This is kind of brewing into the Void Core Shadow Flame thing. I might actually want to wait for that. Play Siphon Soul into you. Get you ready. Yep, that's expected. That's fully expected. 
and let's see how he deals with all this. I hope he goes all face and leaves the one for alive. It would be a pretty bad mistake by him, but it could happen very easily. It wouldn't be that bad if he actually used the 5 4 on it. He's kinda overdeveloping. I don't have room for all of those extras. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, thank you. Exactly as we needed it. Right now, when we actually kill Void Core. This goes. Another night on the That's nasty. Competitive spirit was a very good CK to play at this part of the game. Or at this play to get at this part of the game. So let's see how we can deal with this. Very easily. Absolutely no problem. We can kill everything I have right now. Just going to use the 6-4 on the 3-5. I don't even have to do that. I have so much Let easier ways to actually get rid of everything here. Yeah, this is a GG. So what do we get from Bayon of Doom then? Yeah, that's not really good enough is it now? <laughs> and Flaming B is not good enough either. And well, he's still keeping me alive. Yeah, I don't really have a way to actually heal right now, so well that's met. that. I'm just going to play what something for fun here. That's a very funny interaction, actually, getting all those horses. <laughs> oh my, that's funny. <laughs> Infinite Red Steeds, basically, in here. Very easily. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's unfortunate that I can't really get through anyway. Can't really do anything at all about this. Yeah, I don't have the silencer, so what else? All of these horses here. <laughs> and I'm the kill bot, and what else? Are you going to finish me finally, or. Yeah. Yeah, but he was really seriously playing with fire. In case I drew into something like that again, and the same as him healing the healing bot, it would be a terrible problem.
Uldan versus Rexa. Let the hunt begin. Your soul shall be mine. Mm, Shadow Flame, Floating Watcher, Void Color. I'm just going to remove Floating Watcher, but Shadow Flame and Void Color are a pretty good combo. We are going to keep, especially when we are playing against a Hunter. Where just blowing up the whole board might come in handy. I... I can ease your pain. up so that he doesn't have anything on the board there that's that that's that and this is good but uh, yeah the void call then Do I have the silencer? Yeah, he does. Yeah. It's not really going to matter all that much because I have the shadow flame. And I have two healers, so what do you exactly expect to happen here? Okay, so it's going to be second gone, which is really no problem at all, because it will mean that both are gone. And I still have the healer here. And I still have upper hand because he's not playing anything on the board. Pretty much awesome, isn't it? So yeah. Today we're starting to think about what you have right now. Combination, that's absolutely fine. Combination doesn't matter at all because I'm just gonna get uh, some extras here. The healing department, and that's going to be it. And um, yes. That and next, I just as well play the strong minion here. Won't it be for a while? That's easily overcomable. Let's see if you can deal with this then. Right now I've made it easier for you for actually... Uh, kill com uh, no. Well, the one that just kills a random minion. He has to heal and that's not really going to be enough. That's not going to be enough at all, boy. <laughs> So that's five, and we can just as well put this guy up. Why do you fall? Why do you and finally, we have a pretty good win with Warlock. So that, was, that took a bit longer. At the beginning, we won a bit like first or second game. 
but I was kind of thinking that the opponent wasn't really in it fully. So I just decided to play more. And we are switching into the penultimate, and that's going to be Jaina. And what are we going to do with her? Come on, Frostbolt. Of Medivh. Be fun. Polymorph, well, most definitely. The control, what's happening? Not table, flame strike. Well, yeah. <laughs> what else? And then I uh, think I'm just going to put something like aggro. Let's see how it will work. And I was saying about the secrets though. Yes, let's try to make some use of them with the Mad Scientist. Let's include something like Mirror Entity, that's going to be fun. Mirror Entity... Spellbender could be alright. Let's try it with these four. That's that, that's that. And just now that we need to include... Yes, I think so. I'm just now heading towards the more important part, like the Harvest Golem. Like the Harvest Golem. Oh, let's just remove it from Medivh, it's kinda slow. So I'm kinda hoping that there might be a slightly better spells. And the last one to include are Sludge Belchers. And of course, pilot each others. Yeah, we need to make room for those. Let's remove flame cannon. Put them. And together. Yes, the sludge belchers. And they will be coming in. Well, flame strike. I'd like to keep that. But maybe some secrets. Run taker generally sucks. Play sludge belcher. And against Rogue, Sludge Belcher, Mirror Entity, yeah, I don't really want the secrets, I want them to come through something, something else, which is just going to be the like, no. And I want the secrets to come through the Mad Scientists. So I said that. So no Spellbender, please. Hello. No Spellbender, please. Alright, then. The pleasure is mine. Okay. Mine as well. And something else? You shouldn't be having anything else. I have the coin, so it should be it. Put this apple on your head. So let's just continue with the aggro theme here. With our knife juggler. Maybe it will draw back step, but... Yeah. I really have to run the risk of that. Yes, here it is. Here it is. And what's this going to be? A size 7 agent, maybe? With 2 into face. Or are you trying to wait with that for something better? <laughs> no, he isn't. So I'm just gonna play a Havoc one here now.
Hmm. Hmm. All right now I'm looking at the sludge belcher here. Uh oh, no. the table here. By usage of some extra useful thingies and the other is coming into play as well. Draw some useful cards that we might boy in our game. Well, nothing much interesting, just an assassin's bait, which basically means Sludge Belcher for me. I'm like open way right into his face. And this used to be going decently well, because if he pulls anything like that, I have just Polymorph here or Iron Weak Owl into the silence. And right now, I'm kinda thinking this is heading into a win, looking at the position on the table and such. And that's Assassinate, that's no problem. It's still gonna be, it's still gonna be two defenders. Without him getting really all that much extra <laughs> ground. Hey, give me that. And right now we are pretty much at lethal because we have fireball six, we have seven damage extra very easily, and we need just three extra. And with the mirror image, we should probably get something from him and spell Bender well. Know what that means. I'll take that. Yep, that's not gonna do enough. <laughs> Thanks for you, doesn't it? <laughs> I well played. Oh, that was slightly disappointing game. It didn't really look like that the, our opponent had some very good idea of what to do in the game. Well, let's just try to replay and see if we can get something better there. Jaina versus Gul'dan! Your soul shall be mine! You asked for it. Fireball, not harvest, yes, frostbolt, molymorph, yes. All of these are pretty great. Hello. Hello, hello. So, what's it going to be from you? Kaviva. Shouldn't be really anything so other than the standard like Lepanome and such. Why do you call? And yes, it's very nothing important, important or even interesting. Yeah, let's just keep that. One damage is not any problem at all. So I'm going to keep the coin, potentially launch myself into some better with Harvest Golem or the Pilot Teach Shredder. Mind if I roll need? And well, he just placed Loot Hoarder in there. Alright, so... This is... Oh yeah. I'll come on into the Harvest Golem. I can easily get through the 1-3 defense next turn using my hero power. Even though it wouldn't be all that ideal. So I will be wasting basically just one mana. Still, <laughs> might be better play than anything else. Right, that's Iron Big Owl. Alright, thank you. That's one of them gone. It's going full on. Alright. And some extra cards. Is that all right? Then it's going to be mad scientist. Then, all. 
I need to play him as soon as possible to actually get uh, as many secrets as I can. For I draw them all <laughs> into my hand right now. You can see that I already have Mirror Entity. Uh, definitely I'm slightly running out of time. And all of that, there's still Double Spellbender and one, spiro and one Mirror Entity. Well, but not really anything all that interesting cropping up. I just really want the secrets there, so I will. Will, 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 will I go through? Or will I polymorph you? I will polymorph you first. Because you're much more of a threat. I don't want the 4 force in here. I really don't. And it seems like we foiled his plans. He definitely <laughs> were counting on those. Possibly waiting with power overwhelming in his hand. I wonder. And, uh, well, <laughs> that's a decent development of the table. <laughs> that's a pretty decent development of the table, which means I will have to kill something. So, yeah, that's you dead. To kill you. And we have double armor plate in, so thank you for that. Even though we can't really use just one of those. And I'm going to kill... For example, you. And finally, let's make use of the secrets then. So that second owl gone. It's also pretty nice for me, although I need something to actually get rid of all of you. Because this is getting threatening very seriously. Flame strike for next turn. Hello! Hello! <laughs> Alright. So right now I'm obviously going to bot, for example. To uh, I want to keep you alive actually. See how this goes now. I've limited the number of his minions right now, and if he pulls uh, some extras, I have the flame strike next turn, which is pretty decent, and I should be having quite a decent array in case something goes wrong. The light a little exorcist, yes, that's weak enough for flame strike. Haunted Keeper, that's kind of unfortunate. Yeah, that's not going to go well for you. And you want to kill it? Alright then. That kind of solves my my issue here. I don't have to use Flame Strike right now, I just need to use Frostball then. It's 
so sorry for that. And then it's going to be, I guess, error entity. First, before I juggle. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of haunted keepers here. <laughs> yeah, Rusty Horn is nice. Rusty Horn as well, yeah. Unfortunately for you, forget in a little detail here. Forget in a tiny bit of detail. Unfortunate the last one that shouldn't have really happened. Ah, uh, I was hoping it would hit something else, uh, but yeah, that's that. It's one of them gone, and now we're going to deal with the rest then. Yep, that's damage. Gotta get rid of this, alright. Inspires and have fire. Yeah, fine. Why do you call? That's easy way through, isn't it? <laughs> but we are very low on health, which I don't like at all. Waste anyone's time. 13, 16, so that's not really anywhere close. I saw so let's see if we can somehow make it a finishing line here. I'm a bit worried, but Flame Strike is a very powerful spell. It can get us. Uh, out of very difficult situations if needed. Point Crusher. Ah. <laughs> that was weird. I'm sorry. <laughs> Apparently, they don't understand what the card says. A random minion for each player, and it's including Void Crusher, of course. So let's see, let's see. We are right now at seven, so we would need to draw into Fireball to win, but we have a pretty good options of control here with Polymorph and Flame Strike. Going to what to them. Uh, go through you and flame strike you. 
Okay, it seems like. Let's take it slowly. Let's just be sure what we're doing here. Time reminder. <coughs> Times two. <laughs> right, I don't really need that all that much. I need four damage on the table. At all possible. was through actually getting some extra in BCAA. And well that's not going to be good enough and how about polymorphic too? How about polymorphin too and oh well, yeah slash culture. So can we actually finish this? He doesn't have any more uh, removal or silencer. We should be good to go, actually, to kill him. So, do we have a way to remove the 4 1 right now? Emperor Thorisan and. Well played. Yeah, it's gone. It's gone for him. As for 1 mana, there shouldn't be any kind of removal. Oh! <laughs> I can't do that. I'm sorry. Hey, give me that. Ah! Yep, so finally a pretty good game. Pretty decent game against a warlock here. We had a mage and that worked very nicely. Now I'll be switching to the last hero then. That's going to be Undoing Rin. Priest. So what are we going to pick with him? Well, silencers are pretty much given. So they prove to be really important in here. Powered Glory. Shark Glare is definitely for guard the door. Oh, the color is not bad for the extra healing. Let's see if it will stick. Dark Gold is most definitely double mass dispel and Shadow Madness is cool. Thought still kinda redundant. Really all that needed. Holding Nova Goet possibly. Quite possibly, quite possibly, a holy fire and mind control at least once. Holy fire, well, I'm going to not use that just yet. Right now I'm just gonna put in some standards then. And I was saying with Zombie Cho right now, that we could actually make some useful combos with it. For 10 damage, so yes, I just include Ochenai. Chennai and this guy for the some fun. We remove right now. Holinova can be useful. I'll just power with glory then. One silencer and possibly second one. No. No, no, no. But I'm going to remove Lenova for the others because they are useful. Just call them. Oh. Mind control, no. It's going to include Sludge Belchers then. It's going to be the last card. Hey, Abomination. Next, next, and this here. Yep, and the last one is going to be instead of Valence Chosen. So let's see if this deck will do it for us.
Anduin versus Uther. I will fight with honor. The light shall bring victory. And we have a silence that's going to be kept. A zombie show. Dark cultist. <clears throat> I'm gonna remove power of shield. But otherwise, that's decent. Reaper as well. Greeting. Ah, damn it. <laughs> no farms done for me this time. Just got backed as soon as I played it. <laughs> Him. I won't be waiting for the combo here because right now it's a pretty excellent turn one, turn one play against Paladin. There will be an egg. Oh. Okay, I didn't know, knew that. I bet they disappointed you quite a lot, Sanchez. <laughs> As you were hoping to actually raise some shenanigans with the Nerubian. Harvest Golem is the next card. Do you have anything else? Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, kinda sucks. The damn stand ready. Well, let's just go face them. Just go face and wait with the Shadow Badness next turn. As I very much like to actually steal the 2-3 and smash it against something stronger and get the extra 2s. It will be an egg. What? Just a reinforcement. What are you going to pick? Okay, kill all of these. So maybe, just maybe, you're having consecration in your hand. If this will get Consecration of Avenge, it's going to be pretty sweet, so let's see if it does. Please. Ah. Yeah, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. And right now, just put the magic kill. Thank you very much. Yes, of course, that was damn well played. <laughs> so, that's basically his whole play gone. And I think this is just a GG right there. He shouldn't be having any way whatsoever getting out of this nonsense. I'm just gonna pin it up. Oh, I guess so. Yay, what's this? Aye. That sucks. Ooh, the chalk. But we can keep you alive, zombie Cho. We'll be at 6 health. So let's sacrifice you. Shows an hour here. Reporting for duty. Consider. <laughs> well, he didn't really play anything. Well, I'm just going to be slightly larger than. Uh, space for me. 
And pretty much GG here because that's like 6, 7, 11 damage, 10 damage with 2, that's 12, well, that's almost there. that uh <laughs> well kind of easy 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 peasy let's see if you have another way out of this nonsense for you just a swatch belcher and you can shut over the pain you very easily oh it's not like that's going to stop us ah uh, especially now So yeah, that's that, and um, we might just as well, I don't know, control this slightly. Yep, and that was the first game with Andorin, Anduin, and it went very nice indeed, so that's it for this time brawl of the extra death rattlers so yes that's that and well with all the victories that we needed we ended up at 13 today it's a pretty decent number and well i think you had uh, <laughs> i think i hope you had fun watching me play some of those extra battles with the extra death rattlers in this time and brawl and well follow my channel here on twitch and also subscribe to my youtube com slash place and also visit my tumblr blackaddersplace.tumblr.com for some gaming images videos and such it's also sometimes some kind of history like i don't know scythians romans greeks and such but yeah that's that and well next week probably i think this thursday or maybe even on wednesday when the tavern bro kicks in I'm just going to be streaming the new one, so follow me for that. And I also stream some Total War Arena, Age of Mythology, Age of Empires and such. So you might find quite a lot of different games on my channel. So thank you for watching. I've been Blackadder at Blackadder's Place and goodbye. <laughs>